Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential equation. We have m times m times m plus m and this equals 130. We are going to solve for the value of m, both complex and real. That will satisfy this equation. Now, if you have m times m times m, this is m raised to the power of 3 plus m and this equals 130. So we can decide to move this over here. We have m power 3 plus m minus 130 and this equals 0. Then the next thing is for us to split this negative 130 into two parts. We have negative 1 to 5 and we have negative 5. Negative 1 to 5 plus negative 5 is negative 130. And why are we splitting these two numbers or why are we splitting this number into two parts? It's because if you have 5 raised to the power of 3 and negative you are going to have negative 1 to 5. So, since we are having this number here, we can easily combine this number and m power 3. So, that will make it possible for us to solve this problem very fast. So, that means we are going to have m power 3. Then we have plus m. Then instead of this, we are going to have negative 1 to 5, negative 5, and this equals 0. Now the next thing is we can have m power 3 plus m minus 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 5 and this equals 0. We have this and this. We have m power 3 minus 5 raised to the power of 3 plus m minus 5 and this equals 0. Now let's combine or let's consider this identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3 this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared and from here we have a equals m b equals 5 so a minus b we are going to have m minus 5 times these we have m squared plus 5m plus 5 squared then we have plus m minus 5 and this equals 0 so right now we have m minus 5 here we have m minus 5 here we can factor that out we have m minus 5 times we are going to divide the whole of this by m minus 5 so we are going to have m squared plus 5m plus 5 squared is what? 25. Then we have plus. We are going to divide this by m minus 5. We have 1. So let's put this in square bracket. And this equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do is we have m minus 5 times. Let's add up this. m squared plus 5m plus 25 plus 1 is 26 and this equals 0. So we are having two different equations. We have m minus 5 equals 0 or m squared plus 5m plus 26 equals 0. Now if m minus 5 equals 0 from here we have m equals 5. This is a real solution. Now let's solve this for complex solutions. So we are going to have m squared plus 5m plus 26 equals 0. Then we are going to make use of formula method. We have m equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then we have this divided by 2a. And from here we have a equals 1, B equals 5, and C equals 26. So we are going to insert everything here. We are going to have M equals negative B, negative 5, plus or minus the square root of B squared. That is 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 26. Then we have divided by 2A. 2 times 1. So we have 
m equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared that is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 26 we have 104 divided by 2 so this will give us m equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 or 25 minus 104 is simply negative 79 then we have divided by 2 so this simply means we can have it as because of this negative m equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 79 times square root of negative 1 because of this negative here divided by 2 so we have remember square root of negative 1 equals i we have m equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 79 times i divided by 2 so at this point we are going to have two different solutions for m since there is no number that can easily divide 2 and 5 so we have m equals negative 5 plus square root of 79 times i divided by 2 or negative 5 minus square root of 79 times i divided by 2 that means we are having three solutions and also we have m equals 5 as well so we have this we have this and we have this three different solutions now the next thing we are going to do is to check we are going to check for this real solution if actually it will satisfy that equation remember we had m times m times m plus m and this equals 130 so if we insert 5 here we should have 130 so that means if we have 5 times 5 times 5 plus 5 this should give us 130 if our solution is right and definitely 5 times 5 times 5 is 1 to 5 plus 5 and this equals 130 yes because 1 to 5 plus 5 is 130 and this equals 130 showing that this answer is absolutely very correct so that is it for this video we have one real solution and two complex solutions if you enjoyed this class please kindly subscribe share this video and drop a comment thank you and goodbye